So the next video we are going to do is about the e-discovery. We did that, if I remember, and e-discovery was the one when we tried to download those uh, files and it wanted us to get the key and something. You know, we copied it, it took forever. So <clears throat> there's e-discovery and there's advanced e-discovery. Maybe we still have that 14th no this one is this one is I when I was messing it uh, with up all earlier today this one I kind of remember like you see 14 first 2020 so this was created 14 June but I don't know for what status active created testing so it was a test somewhere so it's saved here but i don't see the one that we did in the past let's see the advanced one no case found and all that so let's go and create a discovery i i, I did this one for uh, i believe i was looking exe files but it, that's not how it works so i'm gonna create a new one create a case let's create a case I'm gonna name it let's see what files did we upload like if we can find let's do Yammer yeah let's search Yammer <coughs> case name Yammer test to find Yammer I'm gonna click on open I should click on open this one as well what was that I'm gonna go back to it later so <clears throat> it says status close case test to find Yammer let's hold and searches ah so basically this is and you make all your searches in here holds are like you see hold user interface so we can create a hold choose location cure create query so i'm gonna go to security and compliance yes so searches create and search guided search search by id list uh, we just simply search yammer or we don't have like much of a data to search for I'm gonna go with all location location on hold is ah so whatever you created we can mention them here specific locations let's see what's in the modify so how do we select them non selected and then we get to select them exchange email you can search the user groups or teams or everything uh, and it's gonna search these location so how do we select these ah so if you turn this on everything gets selected that's how it's doing modify location like select all select locations so basically select all will select everything otherwise it's just going through these and in exchange email nothing is selected so if I click here in exchange everything is selected I'm gonna SharePoint site and public folder as well I'm gonna save it and now I'm gonna run it or I can do all location right is the same thing let's save and run I'm gonna name it Yammer one let's name it one like if I have to roll in the future we have to come and run another one we can name it Yammer two let's save it and the search is running it's exactly the same it took a while i remember <clears throat> and when i was doing here uh, this one it took about like i would say five minutes so i'm going to pause the video here so it said something like uh, retrieving oh okay so it's changed so you can see that uh, i have this is from the emails this could be the file let's see 
the preview pan is really slow sender author type contact oh it's a contact this is another contact this is an email so everything that has a yammer mention a private message this is the dxe so this is the type exe i was looking for like will it show the onedrive files and yes it does so i could be more specific yammer.exe it will search only that but for e-discovery i wanted to see where we can download the file this one is individual results search statistic that's export right there and i get the notification medium severity alert e-discovery has been triggered so if we click it it's going to open an email and yep so you see that was the earlier that when i ran and this one is the new one so you get the, like a notification then somebody ran in the discovery uh, for the admin and if you uh, uh, let's see show you something i remember so like in office 365 especially when we were do doing the, the discovery uh like you have to make somebody an admin or manager or something so for e-discovery we did that uh, manager right there so if you remember I and Ali are the man administrator so we I, I believe Ali would have gotten an email as well probably otherwise it's like <clears throat> I got that right there so these are results per page is 50 100 500 you see how huge this can be discovery so this is the exports file new search save save we can save it open export export reports export result these are the two one I was looking so like the reason I was not clicking here I don't want to lose the screen so I'm gonna don't let's see if I can download all of them all items generate yes generate generate was the one when we had that it was saying it's generating and it was going on <coughs> I believe I have captured it on the video as well and nothing is happening here so Okay. Export. Export many option. Ah, so the one that I already created should be in here. That's how it's done. So you can export it from here, but it will show up here. So now, since I created both of them, I'm gonna click here, and you see they are there. 12:44 and start time. Oh, 2:12, 2:13. So the it's not clickable at the moment. Like you see, my cursor is. Oh, it is. Regenerate, download, delete. Size is zero bytes. So I am going to okay so it's still working scheduling and if I click on the second one scheduling so 213 timestamp chain I'm gonna uh, pause the video here and about five minutes I will come back and check I really want to make this work because uh, this is in the past when we tried that it discovery didn't work and I want to make sure that okay this was the case because the trial was expired that's why it was not working and I was doing everything right so let's pause this video here I will come back and check it in about five minutes all right so it says uh, the export has completed you can start downloading the report that's the download report link I'm gonna click on the other one and see what it's saying has completed and you can download so this is the key that so 
this key is the one that unlocks that file so let's download it client discovery again if you can we can go here client discovery unified and it was created if you see the first of January uh, let's see if I can save it and run it yeah Again, same thing. Wow. So something is being. I'm not doing right. Maybe it's the virtual machine. Could be the only thing I can think of is that since it's an exe and I am logged in as the over here it's a local user like I'm not an admin on this machine so run as an admin Yeah, let's uh, let me pause this video here. All right, so I'm logged in with my uh, so Teams is loading. <clears throat> so okay. So downloads folder. I have to let's quickly sign into Office 365. Um, let's go to admin.office.com or portal.office.com. Portal.office.com. So you see Azure ID connected, it's everything green because I had to run my server. It's protection.office.com, protection.office.com. So I can go to e-discovery, e-discovery. And I can open and this time rather to run a program search I can directly go to this here Yammer
let's go to load we should sign out of here Let's see this time what happens. I'm gonna copy the clipboard and download results, save file, and if I get the same error, Slow, right? Slow. I don't see. Uh, maybe it's working in the back. Office click to run one drive. I'm going to pause the video here. <clears throat> so I'm giving it another try with uh, with uh, Office 365 and Edge. Like I, but I'm tired of this. And I just hope it's not that latency issues again that you have to wait and it works the next day. Ah, again I did the risk protection. This does not work I'm gonna simply end this video here and I will try in the morning or tomorrow yes tomorrow night and see if it um, my export tab is not loading so I will totally actually try tomorrow night and see if I have I'm gonna refresh it one more time <coughs> and I have it okay so from here it worked okay excited I was like running for even from here it was not working like if I go to down downloads 
it it was not working for some reason so paste the export key that will be used to connect to the source this is the export key copy and try that here select the location that will be used to store downloaded files so select the location this PC I download let's go download yeah let's start it <coughs> so waiting for prepare the data yammer one export so it it's downloading a file to that location it's 55 MB in size downloaded processing has complete if I close it that thing is gone what if I have to like upload download this one I don't want to keep uh, downloading that file all the time is there does it show up anything yeah right there e discovery so you That tool is already worth running or what recently added office 365 this one uses Microsoft client oh this will work only from within here so if I select download report now it just goes straight to open I click the copy and where it is okay now I got a handle on this thing this time I'm not gonna save it here I'm gonna save it in document so you know just to make sure I have two different ones this is second one start okay so this is how you do it okay so maybe it was just a matter of I was using Firefox and they want me to uh, use the edge I was just uh, you know I just gave it a last try when I'm troubleshooting I think about all the aspects different browser and all that and that's how I work so I just thought of it and it worked I'm glad so this one is a different file size the other one was 55 this one is 57 I'm gonna go to the location so I have yammer one export if you see this if you see this is yammer one export let's go to the other location that is in documents and I have yammer one reports only yammer one reports only uh, let's open them and see what's inside I have an excel file and this one is XML and this one is text let's exit let's see what's in the that's the summary and this is the results so I have only one tab here if you sign in it will send like save on one drive or whatever or accept yes close so these are the like you see username as land Ali admin etc and we can see what they did or what what it's talking about so admin is this this these conditions mailbox file sizes and all that i want to see don't save results so this is the thing <clears throat> original location where it's saved so this one is SharePoint this will be the emails emails this one is the public folder this is the document ID like what are the document IDs are there again this identity SharePoint and everything else seems to be the email this is like the user subject like email messages 
these were some of the they were done at my own yammer or teams but they were like sent as an email message or you see message on yammer so that's how all right so this is it i'm gonna wrap this video here i'm happy uh, we got it to work um so it couldn't it, maybe it wasn't the issue that a trial office trial was expired it was just a simple matter of uh, using it in with a different account or like a, so, admin account or uh, it just needed a microsoft edge so i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one